This is definitely worth a picture. Check this out. Wow. This guy has the world record for the most Halloween decorations. But that, there has to be a couple of hundred here. Now this morning it's kind of the best of all worlds. We got a brother, another beautiful fall day. Unfortunately the wind is blowing already, which usually means it's going to blow all day. And I noticed last night I took Karen over to one of her friend's houses and a lot of people are already putting up their Halloween decorations. And we always have this one house that we go to and we're going to go, I'm going to ride up there today to see if they've got everything inflated. The, the people and it was in this morning's paper, people are celebrating Halloween like it was Christmas. And in our area of the country, they really are. But the truth is, no matter what area of the country you live in, if you love motorcycles, if you're passionate about it, a day like today, <laughs> you just bundle up, no matter what the temperature is, and get out on the open road. And we are going to get on the open road right after I have coffee and take care of the little things on a farm. we got to feed the sheep, feed the uh, giraffes and everything. We'll be out on the open road. Now, one of the reasons I like to watch YouTube every day is I always learn something. I was watching Dave Morse Tuning last night, one of the best of the channels. Good information, and he was talking about tires and how some sport bike riders put the wrong tires. They put tires that are really track day focused, and you have to keep those tires up to a certain temperature, or they're not as grippy as ordinary street tires. And this is something I bet an awful lot of people, unless they watch a lot of YouTube, they don't know that. Now because I got a uh, relatively brand new tire and I've only got about 100 miles on it, maybe a little over 100. I'll be interested to see how that tire is going to wear in. The Dunlop, I was thinking, was too much of a track day focused tire. This is a Michelin II. And I'll be interested in trying other tires on this as, as we get miles on it. Then we have a Pirelli on the front, a Michelin on the back. The Michelin's going to be replaced. They already have another Pirelli for this. We're going to find out how they work out. And we try to pass on any information we learn along the way. And over all the years that I've had the GS, I've had several, I've had Metzlers, I've had Dunlops, I've had every kind of Bridgestones. And I always wind up, in my case, my personal riding style, I like the Michelin's best for the GS. And once I wear out the front tire, and that's probably going to be... <laughs> very soon. This bike is getting ridden a lot. I've been getting a lot of 100, 125 mile rides. And way over 3,000 miles the first month I had it. it. means I'm going to be buying some tires, but I always like to compare. I keep a log of everything to mileage, and I really didn't get a fair chance to compare to Dunlop because I did get a flat with it. It picked up a nail or something that had a little leak. But anyway, we are now, at least at this point in time, we're not that far away from having a set of Michelins on this. Michelin 2s, by the way. Early morning on a full day. Clear blue skies. It's supposed to just go up into the mid-60s today, so we're going to bundle up, but it should be a good ride. And the leaves are still changing everywhere. And Karen found a couple of bags of uh, more Halloween decorations yesterday, so we're in total Halloween mode. It's a Halloween season. Okay, well, I'm out riding. What are we doing today? We're making chicken fajitas? Yep. Oh, my God. Chicken fajitas. With chickens grown on our farm. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite. All right. I'll think about this while I'm out riding. Hey, it's chilly out here this morning on a tomato farm. We still get a harvest, even in this cold weather. Yeah, and we still have some flowers, boy, and as the weather's getting colder here by the day. We got one monster tomato this morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, tomatoes, tomatoes. Now, guys, I don't want you biting me this morning. There's no biting the hand that feeds you. Time to go. Oh, it looks like a beautiful day. It's 
Sorry about the wind noise. That's nothing I can do about it. That wind picks up on the microphone. And other than the wind blowing, this turned out to be quite a nice day. You can see in a lot of spots the leaves are already changing. And the leaves on the ground make it a challenging day to go fast. Or medium. Or slow. Ah, but the main roads were nice and clear. And some really nice, nice scenic areas up here. We're headed up to see our big Halloween display. I guess a lot of people really take this Halloween seriously. <laughs> and I take my MT-09 seriously. And we had a lucky day with the radar detector saving our bacon, as we always do. And I'm still working on this noise, this wind noise thing, but I'm not making much progress. Look at these leaves! Look at the leaves everywhere. Thank God the main roads at least were clear. Not totally clear, but clear enough. Yesterday it felt like it was snow and leaves where I was. Up around here a little bit better. And some of the beautiful shrubs that flower this time of year. Beautiful time to be out on the open road. Now I know not, a, not everybody cares about the beauty all around them. What the leaves all around you. It's amazing, all these leaves. No matter where I go, the leaves are everywhere. Very scenic, but very, very dangerous. You can get yourself in big trouble. And up around the lake, they haven't started falling yet. But the main roads are still clear, so... I guess we just stay on the main roads here. They seem more free of leaves than the back roads. But all the roads up in this area are just very, very nice. And very scenic, a side benefit. It's nice scenery everywhere. And there's the best piece of scenery of all. And we're going to be coming up on a 4,000 mile service soon. This is definitely worth a picture. Check this out. Wow. 
This guy has the world record for the most Halloween decorations. But that, there has to be a couple of hundred here. Wow. That's pretty cool. I gotta admit, that's pretty cool. I gotta bring Miles up here to check it out. Now we've got some displays in Rutherford, but nothing like this. This this one really takes the cake. This is unbelievable. So I always think that guy must be in a Halloween business somehow. Good time to head up to Valhalla. Valhalla is going to be the same thing. Actually, this whole video is shot in northern New Jersey, and it's beautiful this time of year. I wonder in other parts of the country, they never see the leaves change. And it's a very unique thing, and we have it in this part of the country, northern New Jersey. Oh, no matter what angle you look at, this bike is a mean-looking bike. So I did buy another microphone, and I'm going to test it in the next couple of days. I'm not sure it's going to be any better. The only way you beat the wind noise is to have a bike with a very, very loud exhaust. And the loud it's exhaust cancels out the wind leaves. noise. <laughs> oh, look at those leaves. Oh. But I don't want to have a loud bike this time of year. Since I've quieted down some of the other bikes, they can be a lot more stealth in these populated areas. And we ride these areas because the park is ruined for the whole year. We used to be able to ride in the park, but with so many hikers now, it's impossible. You, you can't imagine how many people are in that park all the time. So we lost our park, but we gained some new roads over the year. And I think in the end, it's probably been just as well, because now in the park, when this COVID is over, the park goes back to being rideable, and all the hikers go back to hiking somewhere else in Vermont or somewhere, wherever they go. Anyway, good time to be home from a really nice ride. See what Karen's got in the oven? She was cooking away when I left. So I come back from a ride, and what do we got? Fajitas. Wow. Wow, I feel so Mexican tonight. That is really good. <laughs> open, open the pot. And what's in the pot? Plant marinara. Ooh, ooh. Oh my God. I wonder I'm having problems with my weight. <laughs> hey, that looks great, baby. It's a good day to ride. Beautiful day. Now this is homemade salsa that you made today while I was out riding? Yes. Whoa. Man, you two, you've been a busy girl. <laughs> with tomatoes from our garden. Tomatoes and peppers from our garden. Maybe we should put this video on the cooking channel. <laughs> Everybody knows I'm a gourmet chef. <clears throat> the only downside in the whole day was, yeah, and you can still, I'm sure you can hear the wind blowing. I'll, do, I'll deal with that anytime. I want to thank the healthcare workers. Thank you guys so much for keeping us all healthy, keeping my family. It was a very nice day. I apologize again for the wind noise. I work on it constantly, but I think in the end the wind noise is going to win. 
Because I've noticed even professional things they shoot at these hurricanes and stuff, the wind is always a problem. Anyway, we are enjoying our MT-09. Thank you again, Karen. It was a wonderful birthday present for my 75th birthday. We're looking forward to some more nice fall rides, maybe before this season's over, but every day it gets a little chillier, a little colder. We're bundling up. Get that, get the full leathers on. It's a beautiful time of year to ride. I'm glad I can share it with you. I hope you're enjoying the rides with us, and thanks so much for watching.